Well, today in this video, I would like uh, to show you where you can best find tardigrades if you would like uh, to observe them under the microscope. Hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Well, tardigrades are quite uh, popular uh, little animals uh, to be observed under the microscope. They're also known as moss piglets or water bears. And uh, even though they're quite uh, popular, they cannot always be easy to find, or rather, let me correct myself a little bit. They are easy to find if you know where to look for them, okay? So, and in this video, I therefore would like to give you a few tips uh, so that it's easy for you to find them, so that you also have a little bit of fun uh, looking at them and observing them under your microscope. So, first of all, uh, tip number one, we're going to dive right in. Tip number one is, is look for the right type of moss. So what am I talking about here? Moss, which is growing on very exposed surfaces, for example, old uh, stone walls, uh, rocks, for example, even um, on the side of a tree, if they are very exposed and they dry out, then it is much more difficult to find those uh, tardigrades. Uh, let me show this to you. I'm going to now collect um, a little sample of moss here. Um, I take it uh, back home, add a little bit of, of water, Tap water is fine as long as it is uh, not chlorinated. And uh, then um, I rinse it out and uh, I'm going to now put some of the particles, some of the soil particles or maybe also some decomposing matter uh, that is on here. I'm going to put that under the microscope now. Um, and then um, under the microscope, there is no movement uh, or almost no movement. Uh, and uh, essentially this shows that um, yeah, the microorganisms and also the tardigrades which might be there have not yet, either not yet, uh, come back to life uh, or simply there are none present or not enough present in the first place. So for this reason, I highly recommend that you collect moss samples that have been moist and wet for a few days. Now, um, even if it has not been raining, um, if you go into the forest uh, and if it has not been raining, you might be able to be a little bit lucky to find some moss samples that um, are green and lush and feel a little bit moist. Um, so uh, maybe they have uh, soaked up some water from the morning morning dew maybe um, or from yeah there's maybe a spring of, of, of with water nearby um, but in any case try to find moss samples that uh, feel a little bit uh, moist uh, because those samples essentially do not only contain more tardigrades but also other organisms and of course plenty of microorganisms as well so this is something that I've now done as well I've taken now one of this uh, these samples here back home I did the same thing I put a little bit of water on the moss sample and then look uh, there is is so much movement now going on here. Um, yeah, so many microorganisms and maybe also tardigrades. And indeed, if you look very carefully, then you're able to see that uh, among the soil particles, um, yeah, you might be able to find them as well. So now to the second tip. Um, sometimes um, yeah, it is simply impossible to find uh, sufficiently moist uh, uh, moss. And for this reason, I recommend that uh, try it in any case with a dry moss sample and add some water and let it stand for, I don't know, about two, three, four days. And this will give uh, the microorganisms and also other microanimals, like tardigrades, sufficient time to come back to life. Because after all, tardigrades are able to survive and withstand long periods of dryness. Um, they go um, into a state called cryptobiosis, which means that um, they're able to yeah, survive uh, even with without water. Um, and uh, it takes them some time, however, to come back to life. And uh, if you do not have any fresh uh, moss samples, if you only have the dry ones available, then yeah, you might be um, a little bit lucky um, if you just leave it uh, for a few days now in, in a moist uh, environment. And I would like to now talk about the third tip that I have, and that is, is um, always make sure that you put some solid material that was rinsed out um, under the microscope. Because in many cases, the tardigrades like to cling to solid soil particles. And those uh, soil particles sometimes can be relatively large, and then the tardigrades uh, might hide behind them, and they might be difficult to find. Um, but um, if you are patient enough, um, and if you wait uh, long enough, uh, you're able to also see that some of those particles, soil particles, uh, move. And you might not even be able to see the microorganism or the animal that actually pulls on the soil particle. Um, so you have to be a little bit patient, um, and then maybe um, you're able to see, um, after some time, um, a little tardigrade uh, to reappear behind the soil particle. So what I recommend is, is solid material under the microscope and, of course, uh, a lot of patience. 
And if you have any recommendations, um, and then please, of course, do leave your comments behind uh, in the comment section below. And of course, I would like to also invite you to subscribe to this channel because I'll give you plenty of more tips and tricks uh, related to microscopy. Happy microbe hunting. As always, see you around next time. Bye-bye.